Okay, and uh, we're back in what we're going to talk about profiles, you're saying? Uh, yeah, Chrome profiles. There's been a lot of confusion about what they are or why you should uh, concern yourself with them when using Chrome.ahk. Uh, in a nutshell, your Chrome profile is what keeps you uh, logged into websites. It keeps you connected to Google. Um, here I have a, a Chrome profile that's logged into an account called Vex. Um, but what you're doing with Chrome.ahk uh, most of the time won't need access to your entire Chrome profile or uh, you want to start off with a blank slate because you're distributing your script to other people. Um, or you want to create a new instance of Chrome, um, like you don't want to attach to an existing Chrome tab. Mm -hmm. And for any of those situations, you have to create a new Chrome profile uh, for Chrome.ahk to work through. And the reason for that, uh, especially with that last example, where you want to open a new page instead of connecting to an existing page is that most people, uh, they don't have this remote debugging port flag on their Chrome shortcut. So if we take that out and then we were to use auto hotkey or uh, just even just the command prompt, That's not it. Where is Chrome? Even if we were just using like the command prompt and we want to start uh, a new Chrome window with remote debugging, mm -hmm. uh, what Chrome does is it takes, like it acknowledges that we want a new window but it will automatically group it into the process with yeah. the other window. Yeah. So instead of spawning a new Chrome that's listening on that debugging port, um, it just opens a new page on the existing Chrome. Without the debugging access. Without debugging, yeah. yeah. And so the way to get Chrome to uh, actually start a new instance that has debugging you have to use a separate profile than the one that has Windows open. Um, it's possible to start Chrome um, with debugging using your main profile, uh, as we showed through the shortcut, mm -hmm. or if you uh, just make sure to close all of your Chrome windows before using Auto Hotkey to launch Chrome. But especially if you're distributing your script to other people, uh, that's a a really inelegant solution. Yeah. Getting people to follow instructions yeah. uh, has been an age old conundrum. So it's much better to create a new profile every time you want to uh, do some kind of automation. Uh, here I'm going to make a folder called new profile and I'm going to tell Chrome, uh, let me close out of Chrome here. So now I have a Chrome window with no debugging capabilities. And I want to tell Chrome to start a new uh, Chrome instance with debugging. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to stick on that profile flag. Uh, we'll see not documented there, um, but the code for that is in chrome.ahk. We'll take a look inside chrome.ahk. Uh, it puts this flag on user data dir with the uh, directory that we want that new profile to be created in. Uh -huh. So if I stick that on there, you can see now I have a brand new instance of Chrome. It's not 
logged into any Google account, and it started with that debugging port enabled. And if we look over here in our profile folder, we can see that Chrome has generated a bunch of files. Right. These will include things like uh, your cookies, your browser history, um, and all of those things that stay when you close Chrome and reopen it, yeah. those yeah. all get saved to this profile folder right. instead of to your system default. Um, also, if you're uh, targeting something like portable Chrome, uh, making sure you have this profile set correctly can be a big deal. Uh, I've toyed around with portable Chrome some in the past, and what I found is that if you use auto hotkey to launch it uh, in just the wrong way, even though you're using portable Chrome, it'll still load the system default profile. So just make sure whenever you want to use uh, Chrome.ahk um, with a new window, uh, like on, on someone's system where they aren't always running Chrome in debug mode, um, or any of the other situations we've mentioned, that you get that custom profile set up. Uh, Chrome.ahk makes it fairly easy to do that. If we look up at the, the top level of documentation, it, the first parameter when you're creating uh, an instance of the Chrome class is a folder path to make a profile. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas in our examples that we connected to an existing window, we didn't have to make Chrome instance. If you're making uh, a new window, you want a new profile, um, you would create new Chrome and give it that profile path. And then everywhere uh, in other examples that we've done, Chrome.getPage or Chrome.getPage by URL, page by title, any of that, you would say uh, Chrome instance dot get page instead, and that tells Chrome dot ahk, hey, look for this, uh, look for this new copy of Chrome rather than the system default Chrome. Can I alter maybe that little? It'd be this different one, right? Because after you've done it once, and I come back a week later, that folder is still there, and this is how you'd still connect to that. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm just just to point out, it doesn't mean it's, it's only new right after you make yeah. it. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's after old. that, it's it's old. Yeah. Yeah. And this, I remember working through this too, and I was pretty confused. I finally figured it out, but yeah, it it and and actually, you know, the whole backstory you gave really helps understand of this little. I'll call it a quirk for lack of a better thing. If you have another window open, even though you launch a debug, it it throws it into the other one, like that. I didn't get reading or whatever at the time, but it makes total sense to me. That one, it's simple, right? It's just, oh, okay, that's why we gotta, you know, if we wanna launch a new one, yeah, it, it, you, uh, you can launch it in debug mode with auto hotkey, um, but you need the profile to tell it to be a different um, account. Oh, just cause I'm curious, as you demonstrated, when you created the new Chrome profile, um, there's all of a sudden a ton of stuff in there. Is that stuff that's built with your Chrome class or is that stuff that Chrome says the first time we launch, go do all this stuff? Uh, that's stuff that Chrome itself generates. Okay. Uh, my code doesn't touch any of this. Even when you launch Chrome, say from a command prompt, uh, giving it that flag, yeah. user data dir, yeah. it'll still generate all this stuff. Okay. All right, yeah, good point. All right. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's just one of those gotchas. You yeah. Know? You don't know what you don't know till you know it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, this has been awesome. Is there anything else we need to to cover? I think that's all. Uh, well, thank you so much, Keith. This was I didn't expect it to be this long of of a, you know everything we've covered today. But I hope uh, I didn't uh, talk through your dinner. No, no worries. No, um, but. I really think this, people now have, they'll have a go-to now, right? Of a walkthrough of exactly, you know, here's here's the flow, here's how you do a, a lot of stuff. It's gonna answer a lot of questions for people. Honestly, at some point I might start 
picking up using it. And then if I do, I'll I'll break a lot of this down into smaller videos to make it simple, you know, more. Yeah, yeah. Specific. But um, we broke it up pretty good. So anyway, thank you again for for all this. This was wonderful. Yeah, it's great to help where I can. I hope this really clears up some things. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, ma'am.